Welcome back to The Final Approach. This is episode uh, six, I want to say six. So I will be getting some of your feedback. I'm do, sort of recording these. I record them in two or three at a time. So any feedback on the previous episode, please, um, it will it will be implemented or it will be listened to. Um, it's just a case of when that happens. It might be a couple of episodes down the line. So we got some science in the last episode. Let's see if we can spend it. I want to get the uh, this stuff so we can do some controlling our orientation. Um, and then we don't have anything else unless I want to get the aviation parts, which I could get and we could go flying north or wherever we've been told to fly and see what's going on. Um, but I think that's for next episode. And I did this last time, I know. But anyway, that's for next episode. Right. Let's have a look in the uh, mission control. We have build a new... I still got that. It just doesn't make any sense. Liquid fueled engine, the spark turbo fan at the launch site liquid fuel engine landed at Kerb skipper oh now 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 that could actually be useful it gives us access to the skipper before we actually need to use it uh, we've actually got the science for it um so that's an idea and i don't know about the spark spark landed at Kerbin. i don't know if we've got access to the spark yet um but we're going to hold off on those i think right so we're gonna we're gonna put some craft together that have some docking ports and can do the rendezvous in space so um i'm gonna put them together and then i will be right back right so speedy up bit while we build this craft and quite simply we're gonna take our carrot um moon flyby craft we're gonna take off its side boosters and i was originally planning on just not having the side boosters but you'll see later a little change occurred so take off the side boosters we stick in a little cargo compartment there and put the rcs fuel in there we use the new rcs nozzles that you can you can actually change because i've not actually used uh, the, the the these in i think many of the versions because my other playthrough i think in uh, road to curb and i haven't really got to rcs heavily yet we've not really done much docking or anything so we've done that um with the new parts um which are very nice actually i must say i think the redesign has actually helped in the size the fact you can get the small ones makes it look not completely crazy anymore um, and you can of course modify them a little bit and change the number of uh, events on them which is really really good really nice um and then towards the end there i just realized that um i do not have enough thrust uh, to actually get off the pad so we're going to stick a couple of solid boosters on there two of them so they're balanced and then i just pull down the um the, the thrust limiting on it until i get to about you know 1.6 1.7 thrust that's going to get me off the pad nicely and hopefully uh, by the time they actually finish burning um the main engine can actually just keep us going up so that's that's where we are with that so that's that done we're going to have two of these we're going to put we're going to put jeb in one we're going to put val in the other and we're going to send them up into orbit and they're going to meet and then potentially we're going to come back and see if we can do a docking with them with the same craft if we can't one of them's going to have to come back down to earth and then it's back to Kerbin, back to Kerbin, and then back up. Right. Right, so I've launched one of these craft into orbit with, with Jeb on. I'm not going to show you because you don't need to see two launches in the same video of the same craft. And I've put him into orbit. It's a terrible orbit, actually. Um, it's really horrible, um, but it is on an orbit. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to get Val. Val's going to go up, and then I'll have a look at which craft's going to do what. Um... We do not have any solar panels on this one, which is uh, potentially a problem, but we'll, we'll we'll come to that when we need to. So I might just strap a couple of solar panels onto the bottom of Val's craft so that she can actually do the active docking and things like that. But I will join you at the launch pad with Val. Right, welcome to the launch pad. We have Val on the launch pad with the Mango 1B, the only change being that we've put some solar panels on it. So if we had and i'm just going to get this going actually let's get this launch going uh i think we are ready there we go so if we were um being really clever we would have um you know really checked inclination of planes and all sorts of things like that we have not done that um and, and one of the big problems i'm finding with these srbs at the start is they're actually throwing us off our our track as it were so we're not flying completely perfect so we need to just focus on that but Val's loving this launch, isn't she? What we're actually aiming to do is put this into the same plane as Jeb's craft, because it will make it a lot easier. If we don't manage that, we're going to have to do a plane change, but luckily these craft have got a load of Delta V, so I'm not too worried about that. Again, we'll just get rid of the boosters there. 
Um, I should have put parachutes on those. That might have been better. And then we could actually recover them for, for money and funds. Although I'm not sure how much more money you'd get from them. We'll have to see. So it's just going to fly up through the atmosphere. And the, the main aim of this mission is to get Jeb and Val near each other in orbit. We're not going to try and dock them straight away. Because I want to see if we can actually... Um, if we get nearby, if we can actually just uh, go back to the VAB, the, VAB the, the mission control, and get the docking contract, that would be really nice. It may require a new craft, in which case we'll have to bring one of the team down, or launch one of the others into orbit, which, um, yeah, that could be interesting, but we'll see. So we're going up in the atmosphere anyway, and um, yeah, again, tell me. Do you like me cutting out some of the launches? Would you like, rather they be in but sped up or, or, or anything like that? Because that would be interesting for me to know. So that I can give you sort of what you like. Um, interesting, this is sort of, uh, we, what we're doing right now is a bit like Gemini 7 and Gemini 6B, I think it was. So 6B was basically launched after um, there was a problem with the the target that, the, that it was gonna try and rendezvous with. Um, six was going to launch um to try and dock with an agena target vehicle and that seemed to be quite common at that time the agena target vehicle had a bit of a problem shall we say and so it actually wasn't was not available for the mission and so what actually happened was um they re, re repurposed the mission and they launched six and seven within sort of a, a window of each other and I had them attempt to rendezvous uh around earth which uh, which was the first sort of real rendezvous and you get that classic image of i think there's a picture from from the, the sort of the capsule of gemini i want to say 6b out towards um seven and you can actually see the nose of, of the gemini's and the, the orientations and everything it's a really nice sort of picture um so yeah that's that's a good one but we're sort of trying to recreate that although we haven't got an agena that's gone wrong but we probably could have if we'd have actually launched up a, a first vehicle and done a rendezvous with it we could have then sent up our second capsule to then you know rendezvous with the first capsule and, and all that sort of stuff so you know we've uh, we've sort of we've sort of missed a few steps there but it's not it's not terrible so we've got a burn that's going to be in a little while and we're just going to position ourselves our burn isn't actually for a while yet according to the timer but I am not sure I trust this timer. I think we're, uh, I think we're going to have to go a little earlier. I'm not sure. So it's going to speed this up, and I think I'm going to go when it says five or ten. So I think, uh, yeah, do that. Oh, I've hit the wrong button. Oh no, Val. Oh, this is terrible. Oh, this is a mission gone horribly wrong. Well, that's uh, that's me hitting the wrong keys. That's spacebar instead of the Z key. How did I manage to do that? I have no idea. You have enough delta V to get into orbit. Um, I guess we're going to get rid of that. that. That stage is going to fall back into the ocean, and we'll try and recover it or something. So, Val, you are um, you were going to be the active component of this docking. However, I'm not sure that's going to be the case anymore because, uh, well, in reality. I, uh, I'm a little concerned that you might not have enough Delta V to do some excessive maneuvers. Although you should have, you've got, yeah, you've got, you're going to have about six, seven hundred Delta V, which is pretty much enough to do most of the maneuvers that I would want to do with you. And we can, while well, we've got the engines firing, we'll just do that. Get the solar panels out. Um, so let's have a look. A little bit of time until burning. Oh, that's interesting. So we want me to start the burn yet? Now that is interesting. Hmm. Right. Put me on the pro grid. Knock that off. And there we go. We've done another. See, this craft is launching into horrible things. And I think it might just be me. I'm just. Uh, I'm not flying it well. I don't know. Anyway, let's have a look. So we want to rendezvous with you. Let's switch to set to target. Oh, now that's interesting. That's not a bad. That's not a bad burn. Right, what's our inclination? Our inclination is not great, though. That's uh, that's not great. Let's uh, add a maneuver, first of all. And we're going to sort our inclination out. So we've got... That's an ascending node. Um, I want to move that, actually, back to there. That's where I want you. And I want to bring you down until we get that. There we go. That's almost good. There we go. Right, let's... Uh, 
time warp to you. Right, Val, you're actually going to be the active one, I think, because you've got the solar cells, which means I can rotate the craft a little bit. I do have RCS that could do it, but um, yeah, we don't want to do everything too, too excessively. Right, and now I want to position myself onto here. Now, of course, because Val and Jeb are not the best pilots in the world yet, obviously their legend has yet to grow, they do not have the ability to uh, actually put themselves into specific uh, markers on the ball, which they will get, they'll, they'll add them in here as time goes on. But for the moment, I'm having to think about this myself, which means these burns are not as accurate as I would have liked, because you know what, I'm only human, I can only see the nav ball so closely. So, oh, we've gone past it, but it doesn't really matter because it's an inclination change. And there we go. Okay, so inclination is close enough now, I would imagine. How oh, we're actually that was actually better than I was in. I was going to get a 0.1, so I've actually I've improved. That's good. Right. See, our orbits are all over the place, and normally you want one that's higher up than the other. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to add a maneuver here. I'm going to pull this orbit up um, out of of the plane, and not out of the plane, but above this one, and then we can actually go into a a transfer. Uh, this is going to be so we're going to try and do a Hoffman transfer. Well, sort of. We're going to be dropping down. We're, into, we're going to go into a higher orbit of that one, although neither of the orbits is circular, so it's not going to be perfect. Um, so we're going to just time warp this along, and I'm going to do this from this view here so you can see it. Um, and I'm not aiming to actually get an intercept right now. I'm actually just aiming to get near, near, near a nice high-ish orbit so that I can actually um, get into a position to do this and this is not the most efficient i should have actually just launched to the target I sh and i could do that um if i was thinking i wasn't if i was trying to play better but i'm actually playing fast and loose a little bit with this this version right now so we're now in a higher orbit which means if i just uh, for example let's put a maneuver node here if i was to do a retrograde burn here it would drop my orbit down and you can see there we would be that far apart now this is where one of the things that came out sort of after alpha, after beta is actually novel. We can actually move that maneuver to be in an orbit and you see it's too far. So I know that I actually need an, a maneuver back here somewhere in about an orbit's time uh, right there. So I need to go there and then take an orbit off. I think so we do that, take an orbit off. So we're actually wanting to do our maneuver within our first orbit round and that there if we come over here we can do a plus approach to target is it intersect uh 40 kilometers nine kilometers i want to get that down let's get that down to what can we get it down to six five four three two one right and now we're going to do some maneuver magic uh we're going to put maneuver node there i'm going to just uh play with it a little bit at 600 meters or 100 130 going the wrong way all right and then a little bit of there we go we're going to come in at 22 meters is that good enough is that going to be good enough to do this task i don't know now remember i can't actually orient it to that maneuver node so it's not going to be that good but i'm going to use the rcs once we actually get towards it so Val's gonna float around in orbit there. Do, 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 do. Jeb's been around for a couple of a couple of hours now. She's been in orbit for what, uh, 40 minutes? He's gonna have been in orbit for probably about an hour at this point, I'm guessing. Um, it's definitely, you know, quick, quick rendezvous compared to around Earth, which would have been uh, an absolute nightmare for us. So let us just position ourselves over here. And you'll notice I'm not using my RCS to do orientation primarily because I don't I haven't actually designed the RCS on this to be massively balanced for this sort of thing and it would be likely to change my orbit um, potentially. So uh, taking that into account I'm um, I'm just gonna do it with the uh, the reaction wheels, which is not again how you do it in real life because in real life the reaction wheels are not that strong. They're really not that strong. So we're gonna wait until we get to within a few seconds of this burn. And then we're gonna fire our engine and oh, there we go. And then we're gonna just come in and I'm actually gonna use the RCS thrust now to put us on it uh, with a bit of, here you go, see, see there, I'm actually using RCS because it just refines it. 
and I can actually look at this maneuver node over here. Intercept two is the one I'm really looking about. And I'm just going to keep doing this until I'm coming in. 10 meters is probably a little close, but you know what? Let's risk it for a biscuit. So this is the maneuver I want to be near. So we're just going to time warp to about here. Um, so we're going to warp there. And then we're going to change to target. We're going to change to target and retrograde. And this is where having a pilot that's been in orbit before is actually really useful because Val can now actually hold me to the retrograde for, for that flight. Um, and you can see there, our orbit has actually changed a bit um, because I've got the RCS still on. So what we're looking for is we should see there's Jeb there. And right, what does this mission say? So I've got a rendezvous. Uh, within visual range of each other, kill their relative velocities to achieve this goal. So I need to get 100 meters per second out of my craft, um, and which is, is quite a lot. And we've got about a minute to do that. So we're actually gonna just take it down to about 30 seconds. Here we go, there we go, right. And I'm going to just take that down a little bit. And you can see right now, this is going up, uh, sorry, down. We're getting closer and closer because of this burn um, as time goes on. And so I wanna keep in mind on that, that I don't want to actually hit the other craft. So we're doing this. Now you wouldn't do this in real life, uh, primarily because you'd be firing your engines at whatever you were docking to or rendezvousing with. So right now I'm firing all of my engine towards Jeb, luckily, Yes, Kerbal doesn't really mind that. Uh, what you'd actually probably do is actually do a much slower approach and then you'd fire your engines in parallel to it if that be, or once you're beyond and then come back to the craft, which is, uh, is what you can do. So we've got about 10 seconds, bring that in. And we're gonna just let it drift. Oh, we've done it. We're within orbital velocity. I think that's a little, a little cheeky actually, cause I'm not gonna count that until I'm really close yeah we're not going to count that until i'm really close in so we'll just uh, we'll get rid of that um i don't i don't i don't think that's good enough in my mind i want to i want to actually park us right on it so what we'll do is we'll use the rcs once we get within i don't know 10 meters or so something like that yeah we'll just do that so val's just going to come in and slow down and then what i will actually do is we're just going to use as we come over the top we're gonna use a bit of RCS there. How much fuel have we got RCS wise? We've got loads of monoprop. So, you know, I've overbuilt the monoprop on this quite considerably. There we go. And we're now just parked. And so they can see each other. Isn't that nice? Isn't that nice? Yeah, there we go. That is a that is a, uh, a screenshotable sort of situation, isn't it? There we go. We could just look at that. Isn't that lovely? Oh, right, right. We're gonna jump back to the uh, Space Center. We're going to leave them in orbit for now. We're going to see if we can get this docking mission. If we can't, next episode we're going to be returning one of them and bringing them back up again, uh, which is annoying. But let's see. So let's have a look. Explore Kerbin. Transfer the crew between vessels. Dock two vessels in orbit. I do not need to have a new craft. We can do this. So next time we're going to do this, we're going to do the docking. So until next time. Have a great one.